Hi, in this video we're going to be describing how to organize pages and how to deal with the menu of GoDaddy. So this was a little bit tricky when you first aren't used to um, seeing the interface, so that's what this video is for. If we are to look at the, this is just a demo page that I made, um, we can see that we have the menu choices. Let's preview it. So if we click on the menu, there's an about page, there's a home page, and so on. Um, this is the menu here, and how you organize them is at the top. You'll notice that you can um, select which one of them to be the home page, the designated page when people type in your website. Uh, you can copy pages, <coughs> sorry, copy pages here. Um, you can delete the page and you can edit it. And if you edit it, uh, it's giving you these options here. So what we want to talk about is how um, the menu does some strange things that you may not notice. First of all, if we look here, it's arranged alphabetically. And it's also put the about pages home for some reason. We can make the home page home. Yeah. Okay. So if we look at the menu here, we can see that it's arranged um, with about first contact, then home, then test. And if we right click, right click on it, and you click on menu, you'll notice that we have these arranged here at the moment. So what this does is you can rearrange the order that you want, of course, and you can make indents. So let, let's do this to show you. Uh, indent once, indent twice. So if you hover your mouse over the button, you'll notice that another one appears with the about, and you can click on that. Or if you hover over, it'll give you a button to another page. So that's what that does. Um, the thing to notice is that the home hasn't changed at all, even though these things have changed. And this might not be too big of a deal until you start having multiple navigations all over the place. So let's, uh, and then back and then, there we go. So what do I mean? If we add another navigation, add the second one here, um, you'll notice that I can right click on here, and menu, and I can rearrange the order And this hasn't changed at all. This is exactly the same as we saw earlier. But this one has changed. So this is something to keep in mind when you're making your website. And another thing I want to mention is the PDF. How do you add a PDF when you're using the website builder? Um, to do that, you go to the menu and we select add link. Um, notice this is, I'm not recommending to go to picture and images. This is specifically a link to a PDF. So if we click add PDF, um, PDF, and then we can, um, well, we have a test here, but we'll use this for now. You can upload your PDF for this. Um, let's do that. So if we go to upload and browse, and we can select our PDF here. So now it's uploaded, we have our PDF, we can select on that. And you'll notice that we now have our PDF to choose from. Unfortunately, it's the same name, but oh well. And notice the choices it's given us. They have links to other pages on our website or your PDF. So it actually considers a PDF its own web page, which is interesting. <laughs> so if we, let's say save there and let's preview it. So when we click on PDF, it's actually going to open up a new um, a new web browser with the PDF available for us. It's not actually within the website, it actually opens up a new page. So that's how the links for PDFs work. That's how to organize your menus and just another uh, little tutorial of how the menus work within GoDaddy. Also a thing to notice is that um, how the formatting works for them. So what you do is you go to settings and you'll notice that there's some limitations and some some, some nice features as well. Uh, the thing to notice is the theme. There's default. You can click on default. 
um, we can click on simple and theme. The theme is actually the exact same that we just saw up here. How it's organized is now vertical. That's horizontal. Button alignment um, shows how it's positioned. Text width uh, doesn't really affect too much if you did that in the center. Text width. Oh, there we go. So now it's all <laughs> lumped together over there. Click equal width. Anyway, that's playing with that. The font size, you can choose whichever font you want. And the default, you can always pick what size you want. Uh, here's a few things to notice is the hover. What does the hover mean? If you never made a website before, this will be interesting to you. Let's say pink. Select it. Let's choose green. Um, Let's go with that for now. So first of all, uh, you'll notice that the green one is the page that we're already on. If I hover my mouse over it, it changes color. And if I click on it, it changes to green. So this is now the green one. So that's what the hover does.